Well then, you've made your choice. Are you happy with how it turned out? Is this how you wanted the future to be? Where am I? All this time, you've been repeating the same aimless actions. All to keep the world this way, and yourself. <sighs> Once more today, you've lost the one you cherished most. Are you sad? If you could, would you try again? Or would you rather linger in the endless now? Noah! 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 Look at this! We finally managed to activate the Ouroboros Stone! Though we don't understand it fully, some functions may still remain hidden. But still, even in its current state, the power it's releasing is more than enough. With this in hand, we can fulfill the wish entrusted to us by the Queen. You mean, take back the world from Mobius? Yes, definitely. Three more months. That's all we need. Mio. So impotent. Did you really think you could stem the tide with the paltry power that you possess? <laughs> oh, you who floats in the currents, you must yield, abandon all you are. should have dozed a while longer. Oh. Good morning. Wanna eat? Wait, I forgot you don't like to eat right after waking. No, I'll have some. Tomorrow's the day. The final battle against Mobius. We've come a long way to get here. Now it'll finally be over. <sighs> it's fine. I've got three whole days. Three days is plenty. I'm sure we'll be golden. floats in the currents. You must yield. Did I not tell you? Yield what? How many times has it been now? No. I can't. <laughs> the world. I wanted to change it. For whose sake? I did it for her. But you... 
Run away. Noah, how can you betray us like this? You just get out the end of that? Are you sure it wasn't for yourself? No. This isn't me. You only cared about yourself. No. I was... I didn't... But with time, you changed. Strong lungs on that one. Heard him all the way outside. He looks just like Daddy. I would have said Mummy. <laughs> Our hopes and dreams made into a little person. You'll lead the way to a new world. A new way of life. Yeah. What about his name? I don't think we ever agreed on one. <laughs> it's your call. You're good at naming, aren't you? Uh, n no. I don't think that's a good idea. It's probably best if I don't. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. Right, I'll do it. Okay? Mm. Here's what we'll call him then. I hope that the future will be kinder to you. Mio. Thank <laughs> you. 
Daddy will have to go soon. All right? But you know, your daddy's and mummy's love, our life, will always be within you. You'll never be alone. Things will get tough. You'll be hurt. You have a whole host of things to go through as you head into the future. A time might come when you'll be on the verge of giving up. But you have to keep going. Make friends. Keep them close to you, always. That's what Daddy and Mummy did. We're with you, now and forever. Why? Why am I crying? Why do I look like that? That's another you. That's how he was. Another me? You from the past. Me from the past? And then, you made your choice. There are two roads set before every individual. The left, the right. What lies down the road you choose? Is it hope or despair? It repeats and repeats as you make countless endless choices. 
You too, like everyone, have been making them all along. If the results satisfy, that is well and good. But if they do not satisfy, what then? Will you weep, battered by grief? Or howl, seething with rage? Have you never prayed that time would simply stop? Have you wished the now would last forever? Your two lives, thriving and persisting far beyond homecoming, surpassing the system of the world. I was fascinated, even beguiled by you. My name is Zed, the ruler of this world. I shall grant your desire. So you have chosen then. The endless now. And so, you became Mobius. So that you could live an eternal now together. Is this still your wish? Do you want to ask one more time for time to stop? <laughs> Why is it that you are here? Why did you split from your other self? Why is it that you exist? I thought I wanted to know. Know what? I became an Offseer because I wanted to know the meaning behind the smile. Tell me. I had a friend, as important to me as, as Lance and Uni or Yoren. Noah, will you keep moving? What? Me, I'm good here. Chris, what do you mean, you're good? Thank you. Chris, 
I wondered why he smiled back then. And not just him, Joran too. I wanted to know why. That's why. Why he continued as an officer. For the longest time, I thought they pitied those of us left behind. Sucks to be you. Sorry, guys. I'm checking out early. It'll be tough, but keep your chins up. I figured that's what the smile said. But now, Mio too was smiling. I think I get it now. The meaning behind the smile. I think they were all content with the way it ended. Like they were putting us in charge of the future. Telling us to make a world where everyone can smile. But it just breaks my heart that that was the only smile they could choose. And it really shouldn't have been. The world we have now, it doesn't give us the choice to smile. If the world won't let us choose outside these narrow bounds, I want nothing more than to rip this world apart. I want to repay those smiles. That's why I'm here. And you won't choose the same path as your other. Who can tell? I may end up doing that, but I'll change it, no matter what. Because that is the legacy that Mio left me. Even if you're left alone. Even if I'm alone. In that case... Let us walk together. Um... I'm sorry. My hair. It's gotten kind of long. Will you still... walk alongside me? Noah? Mio! What? Impossible. You're... Ouroboros. <gasps> Does that mean... Back then, the two of you... So... The one who died is...
Why me? Oh, why would you do this to me? You said you'd be by my side. Mio! All I did, I did for you. You must have known. <gasps> the other me. She couldn't follow you anymore. She couldn't go on. What you see, those are our memories. Continuing uninterrupted since the world was taken captive a long time ago. Memories of me and him. Why are you showing me this? You are. No, all of you are my repentance. Repentance? How I wanted us to be. You embody all our hopes. Our dreams of how this world should be. Even though you and your friends should never have existed, the fact that you are here is proof enough. So you'll let me live. But if you go through with this, you'll be... To my Noah, the time with me is everything. I just want it to end. Mobius, like me, we can exist only by taking the souls of those that grace this world. Nobody pays the slightest mind to the thoughts and dreams those many lives espouse. We gorge ourselves, covered every ember, just to delay our inevitable ruin. That's why you want to disappear. If I die, maybe he'll see. Maybe he could somehow realize what it is that I wish. That would be enough. Afterwards, it'll be up to you two. To walk the path we ought to have walked, he and I. The path they ought to have walked? So it's confirmed. N and M are other versions of Noah and Mia. The other me. She passed all of her memories on to me. So that I could share everything with you. Share everything? I have to know. How could you do this? Why are you on their side? What are you talking about? I felt him. With these hands, that sensation, the emotion, it was no illusion. And yet you still became Mobius, harvesting people without even batting an eye. <laughs> I want to know why. Isn't there a trace left inside you of your old feelings? Because if there was even a little... Feelings. You say, you dare. <laughs> my feelings. My feelings have never changed. They're the same as they've always been. They're for you, Mio. The time I had with you meant everything to me. But now, it's all gone. <laughs> if she truly is gone, I'll have to redo it all. Watch me rewind our clocks back to the start. <sighs> Noah, my long shadow, you have stolen her away from me. I will extinguish you and take her back. Mio is mine! She's not yours. She's mine. You are nothing. She belongs only to me! Words won't cut it. I can't get through to him. 
Mio! Mimi! Mio! Are you... Are you really my Mimi? I'm sorry, I worried you. This was the only way. No, it's fine. You're here. Might want to leave the Teary reunion till later. The mud is glaring and he looks pissed off. I can more or less grasp what's going on here. But you'd better explain the details later. Yeah, absolutely. If words won't get through to him, there's only one way left to us. No. We can't let this go on. Mio! Yeah. I'm ready when you are. the world itself. There can be but one me, and I am it! <laughs> the Sword of Origin. You are going to end it all! To end Mobius, the pinnacle of life! This very world! If, if the, the world, world holds our lives, lives back, back, I will end it! It's as simple as that! It is impossible. I tried. We tried to walk that path and failed. You're, You're full, full of shit! shit. You, you never, never tried, tried. You're, you're just a coward! coward. What to do? If you meant it, you'd have found a way, but you didn't even try to make the effort. Did you? So what do you know of the world and of life? Why she traded places with me. <gasps> she felt imprisoned. And you, you put her there. Shuffling lives pointlessly back and forth for an eternity of control. You call it control? She never really wanted anything like that. She just, she wants to live out her precious days together with you. You should have been able to give her that. Is that why she handed her life to you? Is that why she rejected me? It's not rejection. She understood. She always knew your reasons. All she wanted was to end your misery. That's the reason she gave this body to me. By leaving this world behind, she wanted to tell you she didn't want forever. She wanted to be there with you. And so she left me behind. She would do that! How can we be together now? 
kept her gone from the world? What's the point of it all? It's you that drove her to this. Wake up already. You're Noah, right? Why? Why does nothing seem to get through to you? <laughs> Damage to his core? Tch. Useless lunk. Although, N is the wielder of the Sword of Origin. It'd be a problem to have him croak here. Don't you think, Zed? Oh well. In that case... Is that what she really was? Knew it! It's the same as with Kevis! We've got a winner! In Kevis's case, it was all a bit toothless, huh? But this time, there will be no escape! With one blow? That sword. Guess there's no mistaking it. Where did a brat like him get that? Don't waste your time on petty tricks. The castle is in our hands now. Petty tricks, huh? <laughs> You think you've won? Huh? Tell me, do you know the phrase, last laugh? Admittedly, you probably won't find this very funny, but I will. See how you like this!
Shania, please. Whichever way you lot want to slice it, your lives are in our grasp. I will teach you the meaning of regret and reap you like so much rotten grain. It's all my fault. I didn't think they'd have an ace up their sleeve. I got careless. It's okay. What? Voice? Condor? Guess he's back, bitches! Condor! You're all right! Damn, that was gonna be my line! Heh. <laughs> Looks like things worked out over here anyway. Did she... Yep. If she hadn't clued us in, we'd be up Ship Creek now. Right. Mio. Monica and the others? Bitch Queen's fine too. The city's currently right about here. Underneath the world? How is that possible? The city itself is actually a massive bloody for honors. If we feel like it, we can move it to anywhere in the world. Simply astounding. I thought it was just like an oversized colony. There wasn't exactly common knowledge. The bitch queen and I knew. And a handful of others. That's it. We had to be sure so that some slimy traitor wouldn't drop us in it. Traitor. All right. I'm not gonna ask why. I suppose I know the reason. But if it's what I'm thinking, then I don't get it at all. If we'd made one mistake, the city would have been wiped out. Before we're done, you'll tell me everything I wanna know. Shania. <laughs> it's your eyes, that look! You've always looked at me that way! Why did it have to be like this? Why is it always me, standing here on my own? Shania. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it up to here! <gasps> Shania! Drop it! This isn't what I meant by done! Don't misunderstand! This is... This is the beginning! Shania!
Are you ready, Senna? Noah. This is the fate that Shania chose. It isn't the end. Like she said herself, this is the beginning. Come on. Up you get. I don't know if it'll reach her, but still, Senna will do all we can. Mm. I can't help but wonder, would I have been able to save you? I wanted time to stand still, more than anything. I felt completely powerless. I wished time would stop. If the moment could have lasted forever, we... I wished for the unthinkable, just like N. I proved to be just like him. For my part, this is all I need. When did you two? It was when we first fought against them. Ever since then, Em and I were swapped around. I see. I honestly thought you were M back there. You had me fooled. Maybe that's a bad way to put it. In any case, I didn't realize at all. I did try my best. I couldn't afford to fail. If anyone suspected me, you'd have all been executed on the spot. But her feelings... I couldn't simply let them go to waste. M's feelings? She wanted to give you everything that she knew about N. To help us escape. To break this never-ending Mobius curse. To lose and lose and still stand back up. Even in the depths of despair. She wanted you to have the strength to defeat those at the root of that despair. She sure had a lot of faith in me. Oh. She believed that if anyone in the world could make it possible, it would be you. That's why she merged our will so we could act to further our goal. Earlier, you said it was fun. But it wasn't you. It was M. I really think she meant it. It was brief, but... Being who I am now, passing my thoughts along onto you, and receiving yours in turn. She was grateful. I see. From that moment, Em's words were my words, and my words were now hers. Her life was scattered on the breeze, but her memories and her will live on inside my heart. Come, I have something to show you. Here. 
M was still unsure to the very last whether to show you the memory of this place. But I think it would be best. This place, it was everything to N. What do you mean? Well, you see, this is where the city once stood. It did? It was long ago. The city back then. It was much more prosperous than now. It positively teemed with people. So then, it must have drawn Mobius's ire even more than now. There it lies before you, your heart's desire. There is no life within. You must breathe it into her yourself. <gasps> life from the people of the city. You want me to end every one of them? Why the hesitation? Existing in this place is by itself a result of your own choices. You are the one who chose the endless now, are you not? Your response should already be predetermined. City's inhabitants were the descendants of M, M, and others who became Ouroboros in the past. In exchange for the lease on life they would get as Mobius, Zed ordered M to kill the city's people. to exist as Mobius, the same as myself. So you did it. Sealed our fate. Now we can live forever. But this future's been stamped out before its time. Only two things were important to him. Impossible. How could one ever choose between them? Surely he couldn't... do it. And yet... 
He did make a choice. No one can truly judge him for the things he did. Repentance. Mm. The intentions they left behind. They turned into us. Mm. Of course, it's heartbreaking, but... But still, she was smiling. We have to change things. Yeah. And this time, we'll succeed. So it's set. Our new goal. Agreed? Yes. He can't get away with this. And I'm not feeling very forgiving either. But guys... Now we know there's an even bigger bad behind that snuffer. Zed. Making someone choose the impossible? It's so cruel! Thanks, everyone. Looks like your minds are made up. Here, this is yours. By the by, who is that Zed sleazebag? He's something like the head of all Mobius, or so it seemed. I've only met him in the memories that M showed me, though. We now know his power is vast. Far greater than any of the others in Mobius. Damn, so he's... Yes. He is our true adversary. The one who formed. The world we know. Just who decided that this was how it should be? If I knew who they were or where, I'd... Feels like we have one less worry now, eh? Agreed. They should be able to start on repairs now. Not what I meant, though. I meant this whole thing. Mio, that's right. At that moment, everything just felt so utterly hopeless that it hurt. There wasn't a thing I could do. But it still worked out, right? Huh. Thanks to all of you being there. Ah. What? Surprised you didn't choke on those words. Well, of course not. I can express some emotions. <laughs> there has to be a reason we met. Hmm? Say what? It's something that Noah said once. And you found a reason? We've seen one wish granted. True. Still, we've got a way to go. This isn't nearly the end. No rest for Ouroboros. At least we've won ourselves an extension. Ah, uh, it'll work out somehow. Uni. Am I sensing a streak of optimism? I thought you were one to worry about the details a bit more. Now I've got a reliable guy... ...to stand by me, so... Oh. What, what and, and who might that be, then? <laughs> That'll be my secret.
Uh? You want to cut off those locks? No, but it's so pretty. Hair is like lifeblood of girl. Not to be chopped like so many noodles. Not exactly. I can't decide. Should I cut it or just leave it alone? Why ask? Just do whatever you like. You gotta keep it long. It'd be a crying shame. Well, this body, it's been granted to me by my other self, right? I don't know if it's fine for me to just snip. Yeah, that's a big question for sure. Hmm. The hair doesn't just belong to me, but it's... It's what? It's such a pain in the ass to wash. Huh? What? I just can't smile and deal with it. How she'd ever have the patience? The washing takes ages, and the bedhead's a nightmare. And don't get me started on the latrine. Whoa. Say no more, love. Oh, Mimi. So, what do you think? Uh, well... Look, why don't you just ask Noah? This has nothing to do with him. It's my problem and mine alone. Is it just that you're looking for permission? I'd also settle for a no. Hmm. <laughs> right then, let's sort this out. We'll decide for you if you want. But afterwards, you better not come crying, got it? Mm, I won't. I promise. The Cloud Keep, you say? Yes. It's where the Queen of Agnes lies sleeping. And this is the key we need to get there. You could throw yourself off, but it wouldn't be enough. It is the fate of a Mobius. You should know by now. I it's you. We've met before, when you were still human. Your Majesty, m my Queen. I will go to sleep, for a good long time indeed. That should keep me out of Zed's claws. <sighs> Take this. Whenever it is I wake up again, the world will be ripe for a change. Until that time, keep it safe. You should give it to those who deserve it. How will I know who? They'll come before you. Of that I have no doubt. But why choose me? Because you, nay, the two of you, one day, you will certainly meet your true selves. Our true selves? Huh? I must say, I'm surprised by the location. It's right in the vicinity of Gamma and Nine. How has it escaped detection for all this time? The area around the keep, it's absolutely swimming with black fog. And there's optic camouflaging on the structure itself. So that'll be why. Is that all from M's memories? Hmm. All stuff she passed on to me. Crazy. Gondo, you knew M. Yeah, from a pretty long way back. She's the one who gave me that bloody thing in the first place. She said you lot were our last hope. Asked us to lend you our assistance and junk. 
She must have been guarding the Queen's words. Yeah, for proper yonks and yonks, and no mistaking. And that's also the reason that you were waiting for us. Cooped up there all that time. Busted. And the thousand lives thing. What was all that? Nice spiel, right? I wrote it. Are you serious? Snuff, that's a letdown. You what? Let's head out as soon as we're ready. Mobius is still out and about. We don't have to worry about Mio's lifespan anymore. But we can't just sit around, okay? Yeah, definitely. Um, guys. Mm hmm? <laughs> There's a place other than Cloud Keep that I really need to go to. Really need? Seems you're rather troubled. Are you certain it's really that vital? It's Colony Omega. Omega? What? No, wait. It's still there? The colony I lived in with me, Abby. It was under the control of Mobius Y. I learned something important from the other me. Me Abby's still alive. This me Abby, she clearly means a lot to you then. I'm happy to leave the decision to you. Of course we can head for the keep first. This is something personal for me. Right. I hear you. Okay. To Omega. If Mio's saying she has to go there, then we will. We'll make it high priority. Thank you, Noah. sort of origin thing. You made me look like a complete idiot. The unexpected doth come to pass. Deeply fascinating. Yeah, but what's the plan? You're not gonna want to let it slide, surely. We acknowledge and accept. Whether outside or indeed within, all is part of the flow. Man, you're like a broken record. It is, after all, part and parcel of my being. Hm. I'll just do things my way, then. Uruboros. They're nothing without what we gave them. Hm. Got a problem, why? I shall claim primacy. So I just pulled it free. Noah mean Lucky Seven? Hmm. Well, seem like it. It's not changed one bit. Well, obviously. Shape just cosmetic. Pardon? People and Ouroboros also not change. Before pull free, Mobius power not affect it either. Right. Hmm. Lucky is simple contraption. What actually matter, Noah? The will of the... Wielder. If understand, then why ask? Just who are you? Riku, just Riku. Common variety Nopon. And how's common Nopon get his wings on this? As said, receive from Master Pond to keep safe. Really? What Noah possibly think? Riku mustered up some big fancy lie? <laughs> What Riku say funny? Nah, all good. We'll say I believe you. Meh meh? Riku bothered by that wording. Don't worry. I think I get it now. Oh?
Nonetheless, Lucky Seven is something we'll have to cherish as we go on. Riku, thanks a lot. Marvelous. Deft motions with nary a sign of hesitation. The footwork, remarkable. Thee especially. Oh, how gladdened I am to have awoken thee. Miyabi, my most valuable puppet. Guide them forth with thy inimitable melody. These waifs, these immaculate strays. Can't even get through that obstacle, Miyabi? Shouldn't have slacked in basic. 20 laps of the colony, and pick up the pace! <laughs> An Offseer? Really? That's right. But why? I was top of the rankings, in all the training categories. It's done. But, sir... Enter. Miyabi. As of now, consider yourselves our official Colony Theta Officers. But, Commander... Understand. This decision is final. <sighs> So, did you learn the score? Hmm, I guess. So you can play it? More or less. That's so cool! And your part's so much harder than mine as well. I've been trying, but I'm struggling a bit with the start of the 12th bar. Can we please just drop it? Oh. We play tomorrow. I just want to get it over with. You're right, yeah. Sorry. Oh, well then. I'll practice and make sure I've got my part down pat. Shall we go, Mia?
What's up? So, um, you've got... M's memories. Uni, why are we whispering? Roll with it. I do, yeah. Why, though? So tell me stuff. Tell you what stuff? Stuff about the Queen and Mobius. Anything you got. But like what exactly? Like how the two are connected? Any secrets? Or where they are? Oi, no giving out exclusives. Lance. We want to know this stuff too, right? Well, I suppose. But still. Yeah, I trust Mimi. If it was important, I'm sure she'd tell us everything. And since she's not saying, there's a reason, right? Mm. If it's about the Queen, you shouldn't hear it from me, but rather from Her Majesty herself, I think. The Queen's bound to know things that M didn't. Oh, so that's it then? You're just gonna pass the buck? Well, I suppose so. Feels a bit stingy, that's all. Hey, no grumbling. I'm in the same levelness as you, okay? All right, all right, I'll yield. Might as well save my appetite for the main course. Glad I made this journey. There's nothing special here. Friends, shall we come to right place? We're good. You'll see. Is this real? That's the Cloud Keep. Whoa! Fantastic bit of tech. Amazing how they kept it hidden. So is this where the Queen's been sleeping then? Yes. Right at the very top. Right. Let's move. Not far now. A few more stairs. We might finally discover the way to free the world. End Mobius's reign. We're here. Yes. She's really pretty. It's her. That's the real Queen of Agnes. She's sleeping and not dead, right? Don't worry. 
She'll awake soon enough. <laughs> She's up! shit now. Played. Yorin, are you seriously? Seriously, seriously what? Teaming up with this creep. You've killed her! Wasn't that clear? You know I am Mobius. I was reborn, and on that day, Jay surpassed you all. That day. Right. Then tell me. Why did you do it? Trade your life for mine? You could have ignored me, got away safe. Well, gee, I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see. There might be something in one of my memories. Maybe if I die instead of him, I'll please him? Perhaps that's what I was thinking. One of your memories. Since I couldn't do anything else right, you know? Must be nice to be you, Lance. Just being yourself. Nice to be me? You couldn't fathom how hard it is to be useless. You'd never understand. Unless you'd seen yourself in that light. Oh, here's a thought. How about you try interlinking with me for a lark? I bet you'll cry at the state of me. Fun fact, you know. When you become Mobius, you're treated to all the memories of your past lives. I got to see all the different me's. Although they all pretty much met the same sad end. Deadweight will always be that. I am... Nothing but myself. <sighs> Those were all just coincidences. We know different. That's right. We thought... No, I knew for sure that you were awesome. Whatever. That you were well and truly fed up with me. Although, back on that day, I still managed to surpass you. I can still be here. Feel this rush. And, and now... I'm having the time of my life! Must be nice to be strong like you guys. And me? I was just a worm crawling in the dirt. But what I wanted was to fly. With every single new day, I looked up to admire the birds freewheeling above. But I was a worm. Yorvan, cut the crap. The stuff you guys said was like if those birds went... But Mr. Worm, you do such great work tilling the soil. It's really important you keep at it for the sake of the world, you know? Do you see what I'm trying to say? And what's so wrong about that? I wanted my wings, you bastard! 
I thought if only I could earn your approval, it'd be like an updraft I could soar on. But birds, what can they possibly know of how a lonely worm feels? <sighs> You're a... Just how could you possibly think like that? You wanted approval, so you... How could I not? That's why I became Mobius. So I could be what I always aspired to be. What? This is you? It looks nothing like you. Mm -mm. Yeah, but... Like, that's what I want to end up like, someday. <laughs> Silly, huh? Liar! If you think you're satisfied being this way, you're lying to no one but yourself. I know you can't be at peace with this, so drop the act. <sighs> and yeah, maybe to you we were like birds. But that has nothing to do with strength. Only lack of choice. Lack of choice? Just look at how the world is for us. It wouldn't... It would never allow us to take any other form. So we have to change it. For weak people like us. Weak? You're weak. <laughs> On that day, weren't you smiling? Oh yes, I sure was smiling, because it was the moment I rose above you! It was a grin of victory! No, it wasn't. On that day, you... that was the real you! Our friend Joran. Stop mocking me! Look, you'd made it, Joran. You spread your true wings. <sighs> Joran. Your death, it changed me. Fighting isn't everything. I learned that if I chose, I could change myself, become anything. Joran, I'm grateful as spark to you. Ain't you the same, Joran? Maybe... If you had the choice too, in a world where nothing has to be like this. And that's exactly the kind of world we want to create. We want choices. Remember your Mobius. You should have other nice memories as well. You have to try and remember them, anything at all. <sighs> I've... I've seen all kinds of death. Taking a long, hard look at myself. So let me tell you, you're an... You're... You're more than this. <sighs> Yoren, you've given me so much. You helped me find the will to endure these ten hard years. Come to us, please, Yoren. Let's all stand together. You don't belong with them. You just don't. Was that also me? That day it was like my body just moved. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you think you're getting carried away there? Ugh, what a loser! You good for nothing shit for brains! Ah, well, most people forget as soon as they wake. 
No harm done. But tell you what, they're all completely true. And so snuffing what? What if they were? The past is past, and the present is now. I wasn't finished. Dreams, you see. The little traces of intense memories from your past lives that didn't get purged before rebirth. Little harmless bugs in the system, let's call them. However, not so with Mobius. Just like the runt said, when you become Mobius, in that very moment, all your past memories come rushing back to you. Put it mildly, it's... It's transcendent. Before coming here, I went to visit the Furanis, where I keep my collection. Collection, you say? to my collection! Textbook. 
An Agnian soldier from long ago who'd gone mad. Rather than take lives with his blade, he'd behead his enemies with talon-like swords, bring them back, and add them to his collection. So that's who we're dealing with. Is this your doing? Jay, what are you trying to pull? I can't crush these fools if you hold your strength back. Give it to me, you no-good deadweight loser! Deadweight loser? Who else, kiddo? So give it up! Go on, give! Look, you'd made it, Joran! You spread your true wings! So let me tell you... Joran... You're... You're more than this! I can be more. What? What's going on? <gasps> All right, that's what I'm talking about. With this much power, these jumps are. Decided. It's my choice. I will be different. Yoren! This is who I am. Isn't it? Noah. Uni. Lands. Jay, stop! <laughs> if I die here, I won't... Snuffing idiot. Always putting others ahead of yourself, you moron. You should have just... looked out for number one. But you were so scary, I didn't really feel like I had that option. I suppose... I'm sorry, Euron. Maybe... if we meet again. Yeah. And next time, we will win. That was... Yarn. 
Yeah, sure was. I swear, he hadn't changed one bit. But this... this isn't okay. People shouldn't have to make such heartbreaking choices. Yeah, that's exactly why we gotta move forward. Yeah, well... What do we do? The Queen's... She's gone now. What do we do? What can we even do? This was... supposed to be how we take back our world. I'm so sorry. I knew I was half Mobius. I should have been more careful. But instead... to the side and things that have been a sight twist. being stabbed directly through the heart. And all that blood everywhere. But now, now she's alive. Alive and kicking. Yeah. You are. Oh, that's good. So it worked after all. My name is Nia, and I am the Queen of Agnes, one wing of Ionios. <laughs> 